Lailatul Qadri Khairun Min Alf Shah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in If we take a look at how Allah Almighty has blessed us and favored us, we would need to ponder over it in order for us to be able to realize the favors and the bounties of Allah upon us. Look to begin with within yourself. Do you not have a body with limbs and organs, with bones you don't even know the number of? Do you not have a heart that beats more than a hundred thousand times a day? Do you not have all these faculties of yours? Do you not have everything you can see, you can hear? All of that to begin with, the favors of Allah. Allah Almighty tells us very clearly, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If you are going to count the favors of Allah upon you, you will never count all of them because that is the system of Allah. But the opposite is true. If you count the difficulties, the hardships, the calamities that Allah has thrown at you or made you go through, you will definitely be able to count them, all of them. And you would be able to say, I've got this problem and this and this and this and count them. But when it comes to the favors of Allah, he guarantees you, you cannot count them. Take a look at the food. Take a look at the amount of sustenance you have. Take a look at the surroundings. Allah has provided the basics for you. Your accommodation that you have, even though it may not be up to scratch or it may not be up to what you would like. Man always wants something more than what Allah has given him. So this is something that Allah has created man uh, with. That every time they have something, they're always looking for more. But my brothers and sisters, one of the ways of getting more is to look into the gifts you already have, the blessings that you do have, and to thank Allah for them. لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you are going to be thankful, Allah says, I will grant you increase. So if you want increase from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you must make sure that you first ponder over the gifts of Allah. And one of the reasons why Allah asks you to thank him for what he's given you is for you to be able to realize what you've been given. Amazing. If Allah did not expect you to thank him for what he gave you, and he does not need the thanks, but if he did not make it an act of worship to thank him, you wouldn't even have known what he's bestowed you with. We would not be talking about it today. But because Allah has made it a prerequisite of increase, and Allah has made it an act of worship, he would like you to realize what he's given you so much. But the biggest favor of all is the fact that he guides you towards worshiping him alone. That's the most amazing, the biggest favor that the Almighty can bestow upon anyone. So we thank Allah. And when you thank Allah, you show gratitude, you become humble too. You are humbled by the fact that Allah chose you above others for so many things. And you start realizing that no matter what Allah has given me, Allah has actually favored me with more than I can imagine. Allah has given you and I things we have not asked for because we did not need to ask for it according to us. So surely, look at those who don't have the things that we actually haven't even asked for and we have. And they are crying for those things. They are begging for those things. And perhaps they don't have them. They may get them at some point. We've never even thought that this was a gift of Allah upon us. So thank Allah for that. Allah wants you to look at that. He wants you to realize that I've been blessed in ways that I cannot imagine. I've been given things I haven't even asked for. So when I ask for things, I must know to begin with, let me show gratitude to the maker. Oh Allah, you've given me, but I still want a little bit more. Oh Allah, you've bestowed me, but I'd still like you to do this for me and that for me. And then you ask yourself, what about me? How well connected am I to my maker? Do I pray on time? Do I dress appropriately? Am I filled with modesty and good values, morals, etc.? Do I follow, try to follow the, the, the blessed path? What do I do in my life? And as you begin to appreciate the favors of Allah and ask him for those things that you don't have, you will automatically begin to improve as a person. 
you improve in the way you treat others because you realize the favor of Allah upon you. Or you begin to improve in the way you treat others because you realize that you are desperately in need of the same Allah who has created them and who has created you. So as you begin to treat them well, you become a better person and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if he does not give you what you are asking, don't you agree? You became a better person in the process. Many of us call out to Allah for things we will never get exactly as we want. He gives it to us in different ways. One of the ways of Allah giving it to us is that he opens the doors of something better for us. And a lot of the times that thing that is better is your connection with him. Subhanallah. So Allah says, I know I'm not going to give this to you, but I'm going to give you something better than that. What is it? It is that you've become so close to me. How's that? So even though you don't have what you wanted exactly, but as a result, you became closer to Allah. What a big blessing. We ask Allah Almighty to grant us goodness. So my brothers and sisters, whenever we see someone who is challenged, we should be saying, Alhamdulillahi alladhi afana mimma abtalahu bih. وَفَضَّلَنِي عَلَىٰ كَثِيرٍ مِّمَّنْ خَلَقَ تَفْضِيلًا It's a dua. Um, we thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having protected us or from ha for having granted us savior from that type of illness or negativity or disease. And he has granted us virtue when he gives virtue to some above others. And he has given us virtue over the worlds. Because as human beings, Allah has created us uh, as what is known as Ashraful Makhluqat, the most noble of all creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We've been created in a unique way. Look at all the creatures around you. Man has been created in a unique way, you, amazing way. You look at the angels, they do not have the ability to disobey Allah. But man has the ability to obey and disobey. And man will choose to obey Allah by the help and acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So call out to him. And this is why the biggest favor of Allah upon you and I is guidance. If Allah has guided you to the straight path, there is no bigger gift that he could have bestowed you and I with. So every day when you ask Allah at the same time, thank him for having made you a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. We thank Allah for making us Muslims. Like we say after we've eaten, Alhamdulillah alladhi at'amana wa saqana wa ja'alana min al muslimin We thank Allah. All praise is due to Allah who has uh, fed us, who has quenched our thirst and who has made us Muslims. So we're thanking him. That's just one example. So many examples where we should be thanking Allah for making us mu'mineen and believers, for granting us the acceptance to fulfill our five daily prayers, granting us the acceptance to do the right thing. And this is why then we ask Allah, oh Allah, strengthen us, make us strong so that we can do whatever makes you happy. We can do what we are supposed to be doing. Strengthen us to do the right thing. Strengthen us towards belief. Strengthen us towards that which will please you and keep us away from that which will displease you. Keep us away from that which is going to earn your wrath and so on. So these are the favors of Allah. When you thank Allah, and when you ponder over the favors of Allah upon you, and when you realize how favored you are, you may even feel, you know what, I'm asking Allah for things that I don't really need. But still, Allah says, no, you, no problem. You should keep asking. And you should ask Allah for whatever you feel you want, because that is part of worshiping Allah Almighty. He wants you to ask. He will create needs within you so that you ask him. Because when you ask him, you are acknowledging that he is the owner. You are acknowledging that he is the one who, who can give you, who will give you. That is Allah. And that is Allah alone. So my brothers, my sisters, it's amazing how Allah Almighty favors every single one of us with goodness. We are in the blessed month of Ramadan. What a great favor of Allah. It is so beautiful. We fast during the day. We soften our hearts with taraweeh during the evening. We listen to beautiful reminders in order to soften us. We make resolutions every day. We seek the forgiveness of Allah on a, on a regular basis. We would like to feed others. We would like to do so much. And at the same time, thank Allah. Thank Allah for the millions or in fact for the countless things 
that he has favored you and I with. Similarly, when it comes to being content, we need to embrace it. Allah has chosen for everyone specific things that they will go through in their lives. You may lose a, lo a loved one. You may lose property. You may lose a job. You may lose something. There may be an element of fear in your life, anxiety, whatever it may be. Learn to relate it to Allah, connect it to Allah and tell Allah, Oh Allah, with you, I'm not going to struggle and suffer. I'm going to accept and I'm going to acknowledge that you are in charge. You have chosen this as decree for me. Make me strong and help me through this challenge because it's difficult. I'm a human being. When I go through loss of any sort or negativity, I will feel it. I'm a human. But with the help of Allah and the strength given from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to me, I will definitely be able to overcome that in a better way. And that's what's called contentment. I'm content, even though I'm struggling, I'm suffering, I'm going through so much, much more than other people. But I always look at those who have less than me. I always tell myself it could have been worse. As a believer, that's what we're taught. Look at those who are going through much more than you in terms of hardship and always tell yourself, I'm favored. I'm definitely favored above others. And if I'm going through 20 things, they're going through 50 things. And if I'm going through one thing that is not so difficult, they're going through one thing that is massive and huge, difficult. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness and success. My brothers and sisters, this is just a tip of the topic of this beautiful uh, issue of gratitude, contentment, and the blessings of Allah Almighty. May He grant us from His blessings. Aqulu qawli hadha. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر